Are you like me? Did you go out and buy yourself a new hitch mount bike rack? You're loving it. It's on the car. Everything's going perfectly. Then you have to bring it inside the house to store it, whether that's short term or long term. And you ask yourself the question, where am I going to put this thing? In this video, I'm going to be detailing the steps that I took to make a wall mount for my bike rack. We will first take a measurement of the stinger. This will be the insertion length into the mount. This measurement will now be transferred onto a piece of 4x4. This is where the stinger will get inserted. With a saw and a miter box, we will cut it to its length. Next, we will take a 2-inch hole saw where we will drill a hole through the complete length of the 4x4. This is going to allow us to insert our one and one half inch ABS pipe into the 4x4. Keeping in mind, this is for an application of a one and one quarter inch bike rack receiver. We will take a measurement of the piece of 4x4 and transfer that measurement to the ABS pipe, allowing us to cut it to length. With the aid of our saw and miter box, we can cut the pipe to length. As seen, the pipe fits nicely into our piece of 4x4. An adhesive can now be applied to the surface of the ABS pipe and inserted inside. A length of 2x6 will be used as a backer to support our mount. We will want to ensure that the 4x4 is centered onto this backer. We will then take wood screws, fastening into each corner through the 2x6 into the 4x4. I am using 3 inch screws, taking measurements to ensure that the screws are adequately placed. We can now install onto the wall ensuring we're fastening into studs. The bike rack can be put in place and we can take a measurement for our pin. With a half inch drill bit, we will drill through the 4x4 and the ABS pipe. As seen here, the pin inserts nicely. Additionally, the anti-wobble knob can be tightened to allow for added stability. Well, there you have it guys. Off camera, I went ahead and gave it a shot of black paint just to hide that wood color. So really what we're doing here is we're getting the rack off the floor, we're keeping it out of the way, and it's secured and supported by the mount that we made. It's not being allowed to lean on its side where it could possibly tip over hurt somebody, break something, or possibly damage the rack. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, guys.